gentlemen, once again to Doki Doki Purest Mod. This is once again your man Bob Mob, aka Doc Wildcard. Hopefully this will go well. It's Monday, time to face the music. I never understood that expression, face the music. So far, you hasn't figured out anything about the chain email that's already spread across the school, but it's only a matter of time. I want to expunge this before you even catches on, but I, I don't even think I can. That's something you should never do, ladies and gentlemen. As I said you should never doubt yourselves, but I have to try. I couldn't stand to see her face when she realizes. I know exactly how that conversation will go down. My phone buzzes with a text. Yuri. I didn't see you in our usual place. Are you coming to school today? I did rush to school today when I think about it. Slide down into my seat, tapping out a brief response. Yeah. I need to take care of some business with the teacher before class. Sorry. Alright. I love you, Bob. Mom. I stuff the phone back into my pocket and exhale softly. I have my plan. Find the source of the email first off. And if I six or anything to go on, I know just where to start. Hey. Talking to the guy who warned me about you, it seems like he could give me a clue or two. The boy seems surprised for a second, but he adopts a new folks person throwing up a hand. Yo, Bob and Bob. Hello. Conversation if you can even be called that saws on the ground. Probably knows I'm suspicious, now he's waiting for me to take the first move. Got any strange emails recently? Nothing out of the ordinary, my man. Fish with a shrug, he plays it off so well. Down my first instincts, it was him. Dad's begin to creep off as I nod quietly, heading to my classroom. After all, there could always be others. I was running essentially with blinkers on all sides. Could have missed something, something obvious. Sounds almost like a thing from a uh, detective movie, like a, an old school film noir or something. It's pretty cool. Well, at least it would be if it weren't for the situation. But who has the following? Uh, who else has the following but him to swing this? Well, there goes hit my day. I raised my head from the desk, having previously been napping the way the time. History is the next place where I should get my stuff for that. I decided to gather information in the afternoon. I'll be asking, I was skipping going to the literature club, but I would argue it was for a good cause. Back of the classroom slides open, and he steps back inside, followed by a group of his cronies. I try not to be too judgmental. I'm failing. It wasn't all me, actually. Well, of course not. But the guy didn't. But didn't the guy get on your case? He told us he did, at least. He shrugs the same dismissive, contemptuous shrug. I mean, I did try to warn him, didn't I? This is just a fun idea I had, you know? Been a while since I've seen a good chain email go round. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Who knows, maybe he's into that. Cutting fetish? What do they call that anyway? I think it's like blood play? Yeah, that. Wait, how do you know about that, huh? If I was just going after someone with low self-esteem for the easy win. 
this would happen in this kind of case. There actually shouldn't be an E there. Echo for the military fanatics. Because that means female anyway. I think how they cut the music for this. Very artistic. Yo, Bob the Mob, how you holding up? I was afraid this was going to happen. So, then you punched him. I did start though, so it's only to be expected. Oh, I thought that the principal was just me. Whatever. Okay, so he was just me. More than once, I should add. According to his eyewitnesses, it looks like you were trying to kill him. I'm not apologizing. I can't act about, can't act about hearsay, but starting a fight is a serious offense. As for you, you may go. Have the nurse take a look at it if you need it. Bob. Oh, joy. I'm giving you a two-day suspension. You will need to gather your things and call your family. <sighs> yes, sir. And try to keep your temper in check until the next time. That went about as well as it could be expected, really. I stared up from the bed. My phone has been buzzing non stop for about five minutes. No doubt Sarah is trying to check in. Texting in class? I scold her. Why? Appreciate the concern, but right now I just need quiet. Yeah, I suppose that would be true. Should I figure out how to handle this because I've done something unbelievably stupid? I so caught up in my anger that I just lost sight of what actual, my actual goal was. I mean, maybe if I'm lucky to start, the fight I start will give them something else to gossip about. But if I know anything about the student body, it'll just get tacked on as an extra material for the main story. Suddenly, I threw it through my bedroom window as I dragged myself out of bed. It's, it's been two days, right? Check the calendar on my phone. Yep, the suspension is over. The gravity of the situation sets in as I will myself to stay awake. God, I actually got suspended. I never imagined. I really hurt someone all because... Check my phone. Still nothing. Still not nice from you, or maybe I should say no. Right. Not, not anymore. I, I just don't know what to do. Where to go from here. I've demolished my reputation at school. I got suspended. The other club members are probably afraid of me. And Yuri Gah! Walk is a new den there. Sick, clenched fist recorded from the pain. <sighs> Not enough time for all this. Just 
want things to be fixed somehow. But as for now, I need to go to school. I get outside to see if you're already waiting for me. It's comforting to see that some things never change at least. Good morning, Bath Mob. Morning. I weekly wave. Uh, we start our ways to school like nothing happened this week. The start of the day, and I already feel exhausted. I can seriously feel worried about the state of the club, but I don't think I could brace myself for any sort of negative answer. So he eventually breaks us out in an attempt to lift the mood. So, what's on your mind? Not the much. I don't lie through my teeth. It hurts to, like this to lie. It's easy, all right, but. Whatever you are, my whole situation you know, consumed me. Not to mention that it's all my fault anyway. Sorry, you shouldn't have to worry about me even more. Are you sure? Yeah, I. I can see what I'm doing. Sorry, she suddenly revealed to me some of her deepest struggles. She had much more substantial issues and that she chose to confess to me. I thought I was able to properly support her and I had to rely on Mark helping her instead. Damn it. I feel another pang of guilt, but I shake my head to try and refocus. If she considered that much with me, I can at least share my own problems and worries. No, actually, I've been so anxious the past few days about Yuri and about myself after my outburst. I just... I just don't know what to do, Sayori. I wouldn't beat yourself up out for anything that happened, Bob. Maybe we can figure out something at the club later? I'm sure everyone... We'd be more than happy to help out. Right, the Lizard Club. It's nice to know that it's still continuing at least. Thank you, sorry. That, that sounds nice. We're almost at school. Soon we'll have to part ways until the afternoon. Oh, we're here already. Well, see you, Bob. I wave goodbye to Sayori as we head to our respective classes. I wonder now where I'd be without a friend to walk to school with every day. <laughs> but with Sayori gone, my thoughts return to worrying about Yuri. She hasn't responded to me in two days. She even talked to me at the literature club. <sighs> what do I even say to her when we get to see each other again. I haven't even thought about it. Just going to screw up or anything again. I'll cross that bridge trying and get there, I suppose. Just have to make it through classes today.
hours I sit by my chairs in the edge club. I even get a chance for conversation. Okay, well you could have told me it was supposed to be the hours, I'm just saying. I thought you would know. She hasn't been here since she was suspended. We assumed that you... the exact opposite. Oh well. Come on, man. You gonna give up that easily? No way. Americans, especially classic red, white, and blue party Billy sons like myself, do not give up. Still too sun... Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> that just... I thought that turned into a hyperlink there for a second. Maybe it was just empty space. Well, I can see where we keep quiet. That too, he softens a bit. Sorry, I probably shouldn't have shouted. Ah, eh. I guess I've been anxious as well. Natsuki takes a seat next to me. I just don't know what to do. I thought Yuri had at least been in contact with the club. Do I try reaching out again? Uh, no. Cut off guard by Natsuki once again. I don't think you should. Don't say worry. I think she's better off left on her own for this sort of thing. At least for now. Really? Yeah, I know you're worried, but I think trying to, to re trying again to reach her wouldn't do anything good. It might stress her out even more, honestly. Think about your habit of convincing considering yourself an inconvenience. Maybe not Suki's right. Okay, another choice, another save. But is it alright to just basically wait, do nothing, and leave it all on Yuri? Wait a day and see if things change tomorrow. That sound good? Great. I'll have to take this conversation and ask your cue. Okay everyone, perhaps a bit of inconvenience the reading, but I think it turned out fine for today. I come through with her unshakable leadership once again. I can't help wondering what will happen if the club's moved tomorrow. 
to the coast for good tomorrow if you're still in back. Should we wrap up then? I think I made the right choice. But I'm still anxious. It's never enjoyable to just wait. Please, Yori. Get back to me at some point. Whenever you're ready. I just hope that soon. Just need to hold out till then. It's the next day. All the members of the Village Club are present. Sans Yori. Palpable heaviness hangs in the air. No one is much of a mood to talk. I still I still heard nothing from Yori. From most of the others, nothing have either. Monica tries to dispel the crushing silence. She tries to put on a trademark smile and harmonious tone. So, does anyone have poems to share today? It may, but I certainly don't have anything to offer either. I can muster no effort to conceal the brooding worry on my face. The wind leaves Marcus' sails. I see. In that case, I suppose we should adjourn early today. Any objections? I guess that's all then. I hope everyone has a wonderful afternoon. If anyone needs anything, you're welcome to talk to me. With one last attempt at a comforting smile, Mons takes her leave. Sorry soon follows suit, unable to hide where he glanced towards me as he leaves. If anything, I appreciate how I can try the best to comfort the club despite the atmosphere. But I can only do so much. Natsuki pulls me aside before I can leave as well. Well? Still nothing. <sighs> okay, if anything, I'm glad you didn't go after her. I think you made the right choice. Hey, I know it's hard, but... You've gotten past it. You've got to have some faith, alright? She'll come back on her own. It sucks sometimes, but all we can do is wait. We've offered her all we can, and now we have to respect how she feels, how she handles things. Peace? But. But what if. But what? What if something happens to her? What if. Mob, do you love Yuri or not? I. Question caught me off guard. Love? I certainly liked her, and I enjoyed the time we spent together. All moments we shared between us. Just wanted her to be happy. I want to do all I can to make that happen. I do love her. Breaks into a smile and teasingly swings at my shoulder. There you go. That wasn't so hard, was it? Now you can trust her with this, alright? She's strong. Yeah. That's should. You're right. Thank you, that's true. She's a friend of the whole club. We all care about her. Just hang in there and let us know if she comes back, alright? Or when, when she comes back, alright? I know, I feel so weird, my words fade away. Sure thing. If you make her cry again, I won't forget, won't let you forget it, alright? I'm, I'm not gonna make anyone cry. Was that thread... serious? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I've gotta head home now. See ya. She smiles and waves at me as she exits the classroom, leaving me alone in the club room. 
That's who you said she was kidding, but I certainly don't want to see if she is or not. My mind drifts to your units again. Some concern still lingers, but Natsuki is no more longer than I have. I solve myself to trust Yuri and pray that the wait isn't too much longer. So I take my leave of the classroom and I find Sayori by the exit of the school evidently waiting for me. She gives a cheerful smile as I approach. You don't have to... Come on, we've always walked together. Why would today be any different? <laughs> You're right. Thank you, Sayori. Really. Sayori beams a thousand watt grin as we start to head home. Cool afternoon breeze brings refreshment to me and Sayori as we amble down the familiar street. Mental note to think of a way to properly thank her at some point. The whole club, really. At this point, with all that's happened, I still don't know where I'd be without them. We arrive home before too long. Face her in front of our houses. Sorry. Thank you for everything. Even if I blew my fuse and caused all stress, Sarah maintains her as a present smile. Don't be too down on yourself, Bob. We all have our low points, but we don't let them define us, right? Beautiful. And those are words to live by. You're still my best friend, Bob and Mom. This won't change that. And so. I know you're still you. Take it from me. I know it can be hard to pick yourself up at times. Don't think you have to deal with it all by yourself. Your friends are there for you. Sorry. Is she always like this? I have just been blind to her unwavering support. After all, she's confided in me. Jeez, I'm dead sometimes, aren't I? I don't think I can thank you enough, Sayori. Oh, quote, honestly. <laughs> That's what friends are for, isn't it? I'll be on next door if you need someone to talk to. I'll be sure to let you know if I do. We embrace and their separate ways back to our houses. I don't know where the normal, but it still feels like it's a long day. Collapse on the couch and do a little more than able to aimlessly lie down for an indeterminate amount of time. My thoughts drift once more through the whirlwind of the past several days. Was it really that, only that long since all this started? Yeah, I guess it was. It's Friday, right? Now the whole weekend to ponder. While I'm slunk, I play it. I my slump, I play all the advice and encouragement I've been given. Plan is still waiting. Right, I can do that. Have faith in you. Here at home, I left alone to steal my own thoughts. All of the assurances from today only did so much to stave off my own, my grown worry. A day with no response, sure, but more than that. Is everything really okay? Is there something more I should be doing? Yuri... So I love today. I really do, right? Damn I mean, it, I just shouldn't have to prove this to myself. What am I thinking? I have vision flashbacks of all our times spent together as if on cue. 
sharing our poems, the festival preparation, the festival itself, the bookshop, and then the breakup. Damn it, if I can only go back in time and fix things, if I just talk to you more about how she felt about everything, if I just control my temper better. Stop going on what I should have done better. Just focus on what I have to do now. I attempt to change my train of thought. Whenever I was with you, I felt these. Seeing the way she carries herself, maybe she doesn't see it, but I do. The way she blossoms whenever she talks about her passions. The way that no matter what, she always stay honest to herself. I imagine she could have given up on it and she just collected knives. That's something I'm not sure many girls do, and part of why she's the best girl. That is badass. Having a knife collection. But she didn't give in. She remained steadfast and even shared it with me. If I were in her position, I don't know I could have done the same. Here is unwavering in the loves and hobbies despite the very cool rumors. Can I do something like that? Do I have that kind of strength? No, not maybe. Definitely. Because I'm classic red, white, and blue blood Philly song. More and more I come to realize how I miss the way things were. Reading together, working together, even overcoming our boundaries together with the help with the hiccups that accompanied. Yori was willing to separate from me because she wanted to preserve my reputation. It hurt, obviously, but she put my well-being before herself. In its own way, it was it was selfless. It was short-sighted, but I now realize the scope of the intent. When we... Well, if we get back together, I should tell her how much she means to me in all this. Properly. I'll set things straight. I need to. Just... Whenever. Whenever we talk next. My new resolve makes it even hard to just flash around on the couch. But what can I do right now? Why would she be silent for so long anyway? You know that Suki said that Yori can take care of herself. But for days? What is she even doing by herself? Reading would be my first guess. I feel like pulse quick in realization. Knives. She has quite a the knives. A text? Who could? Oh, I skips a beat. It's Yori. May I come over? First, I'm not sure I'm even seeing things correctly. Is this really? Shake myself from my drowsiness to make sure. Yori is a text from Yori asking if she can visit. Fingers start shaking as I try and type in an answer. How do I even respond to this? I mean, of course I want to see her again, but just every, but just after this, this after days of no, oh, stop overthinking it. Just yes, there. Thank you. I'll be here soon. Soon, huh? It feels unreal. The past few days even happened? I saw those slumps and I realized how tense I've been. I can't help but laugh a little. Getting this worked up over a girl coming over? It's not even the first time. So, I just have to wait a bit longer, don't I? For too long, the doorbell rings. Before I get the door, I pinch myself to Make sure it's the case. No, I'm not dreaming. 
open the door. Standing before me is Yuri, truly her, unharmed. If you fall into a mutual embrace, seconds feel like hours. Reluctantly separate, knowing someone has to speak first. My mind is raced a mile a minute, trying to find some cohesive words. After the longest th two days of my life, there's no, there's so much I want to say. I, I, both stop and find a small swell in the hill after trying to start off at the same time. After a pause, I nod to Nora, see her as a gesture for her to speak first. Thank you. Thank you for having me over after everything I put you through. No, don't worry about it. It's fine. You're, you're okay, right? Yes, I am. I'm sorry for taking so long to get back to you. Again, it's fine. I'm just... I'm glad to see you again. Yes, of course. Um, where? It's, um, it might be kind of weird to you. I'm sure it's a great place. Graveyard in the park this time tomorrow. Is that all right with you? Graveyard, huh? That sounds great. Can't think of a more fitting place. Your beams, easily the most welcome sight I've seen in his way. Thank you. I promise. I promise I'll tell you everything, alright? I'm not in agreement. Seems we both have a great deal we want to share. See you tomorrow. One last embrace, your returns to leave. So it leaves me with one last reassurance. It's the least I owe you, Yori. You're the one who deserves thanks for putting up with me. Yori leaves me with an enchanting smile as he departs. I can feel a burden lifting from my shoulders. I guess I'll get my chance after all. No matter how tomorrow goes, as long as I can tell her what she's done for me. I think things will turn out alright. And on that note, I'm going to end this particular chapter, ladies and gentlemen. If you dig what I'm doing, please consider subscribing. I'll sub back. Fairly well.